a soldier. Alafu, on the show, we are honored to have the first female uh, psychologist to be enlisted in history, the first female psychologist in history to be employed by the KDF. And we also have the first Kenyan ever to be enlisted in the Special Forces. What Makofia, Byron Adera, and Awairimo Mukuria. They deserve better than that, Mazi. You've been in the military, you've served, hey, you've gone a very many fasts. Uh, yes. Alafu, uh, you're also a psychologist. Yes. I have a stereotype about psychologists. Tell me. Ukini Angalevi, what am I thinking? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't read thoughts, but I, I, it's a stereotype that is common in a lot of people. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Byron, We're special yes. forces. You told me that you are a very, very small community. Yes, the Special Forces is the smallest community within any army setup. Because yeah. to the convert, community. it's the smallest community. You know, the, the few, the chosen, the bravest. And they're the deadliest warriors on earth. Oh, kwa hivyo kuna, 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 kuna pia cowards maali ya tu. See, they, they're, not, they're not cowards as uh, such. <laughs> but... Ideally, these are the chosen few. Okay. Uh, so in terms of the progression, yes. um, uh, those are the deadliest you have in any, in any military advancement. Uh, and, and the people also get to differentiate themselves in terms of uh, if there's a courageometer, so in terms of courage, yes, yes, yes. There must uh, be. mental toughness, um, high adaptability, physical and mental you know, um, uh, toughness. So it's all those things. So talk about the top 1% of uh, the guys that you see in, in uniform, then you'd get probably the raw material to make a special forces operator. Yes. Alak <coughs> Wairimo, yes. you've been to the battlefield, you've right. gone to war, right? Yes. You are a psychologist. Mm -hmm. Nani alikuwa na kudikompress wewe? <coughs> it's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's another meaning. Ah, wa wachana na Yes. Nani alikuwa na kutolea stress? I had very good people standing in that space for me because okay. it's very, very necessary. But of course, um, my struggle is like a real struggle because there are things, because in psychology, if you're a psychologist, lazima ukue na iyo, clinical supervision. Okay. But you see, for me, it was a bit tricky because who do I go and tell what I should not even be talking about okay. that is eating into my heart and into my soul and making me, like, it might compromise my ability to actually deliver my services. So it's a, it was a very tricky situation, but um, made it through somehow. Ah. <clears throat> so there has to be, of course, somebody to be able to provide me that clinical supervision. Uh, Byron, yes. uh, as a trained soldier, the level of your training, your top notch, Siju command, your cream de la cream, right? Uh, <laughs> you, as in, I, I imagine, you correct me if I'm wrong, training yako unambiwangwa, like wewe sasa, mali umefika, uneza nyorosha adiriva yote. Is that true? Now, at there is a limit of people, if you beat below those people, at the Tatikana, Umepigana now at 18 Pekeake, you will be arrested. Is that true? Uh, there are guidelines for proportionality. And then there's. Proportionality. The amount there's, of people you can uh, beat up. Some of this is built on myths, yeah. you know? Some of this is built on myths and people's imagination. As they said correctly, yes. Imagination is more important than knowledge, right? So here's the knowledge now. Okay. Imagination is very important, it will serve. But the knowledge is, uh, comparatively, a special forces operator is built to operate well beyond the capability of unconventional soldier. Yes. So you can start the conversation from there. Okay. So a conventional soldier already goes through very arduous training. Yes. It's the toughest. I mean, you're going through cadet training and you don't, you can't, check yourself out and you think you're going to make it through the next minute or second, you know? And we went for uh, training for 22 months in that college, perhaps the most, the longest thing I've ever done. 22 months? Yes. Uh, and every day is hell on earth. Every day is hell on earth. Now, beyond that, then you answer to the call to, let's say, the parachute regiment, which is now, those were the, uh, they, they, they 
could rather comically call it Beirut, the home of the brave in Gilgil, Kenyatta Barracks. Yes. Nice place. So that, that was my home for quite some time. And then from the parachute regiment guys now who are revered across the army spectrum, then you get the super soldiers again now, special forces. So you can start to imagine the level of training this takes a human being to and the limits and beyond. Uh, really proud of Eliud and, 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 you know, the unsung heroes are, you know, the people that walk around. Uh, this had to be the same everybody. Now, uh, talking about uh, beating an Etah uh, estate, entire Sati estate, river, yes. uh, that's neither here nor there because uh, I allowed to look at yeah, it from a different perspective. Special forces guy living there. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes. I mean, rarely would you find, rarely would you find guys like me getting engaged in small-time brawls. Right. Uh, we <laughs> probably wait, the wait, wait. Yes. Plant one guy. Soldiers wanna go and make a police him. For him, him. Just you would. I wish you would. Wanna go and him. So, okay, wanna police. Wanna shoot each other for practice. Wanna shoot each other for research. Kido go. I found the akujia. Kujia. Ni ni wa wa. Alafu, alafu na ngodi akuchokoze. Baka baka pikuje. So that you can teach them a lesson to them. Of course. <laughs> True. Um, Gosh. Uh, we are in this together. Mm. Uh, we are in this together. It's the true. police are serving an important it's vision and, and mission yeah. in this country. Yeah. Yeah. And their brothers. I mean, I've operated yeah. with several policemen who are doing an, uh, an extremely good job. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from the, the very sad news about the rest who are ensconced in their own world, drilling away, not needing to be orientating themselves to the business at hand, that is sad. Because for you to have gone through a very elitist training and, and you are disciplined force with uniform, in uniform, yes. you got to be totally orientated towards your vision. Now, that aside, uh, the training that I know of, and I'll talk about the good things, the good side of things, best practices, yes. uh, you didn't <coughs> want to get into a brawl with guys, guys that you call friendly forces, you know, for yeah, obvious okay. reasons, yeah. okay? Blue. And these, that's blue on blue. Actually, the training uh, talks about it very profoundly. There's no one who fights, even in training. Actually, you, all of you lose your jobs. Yeah. If, if you're you found, fight. yes, yeah. within the army, yeah. you know, in training, in service, if you fight and it gets known by anybody else, you, both of you would lose your jobs. Because so you graduate without knowing actually uh, whether you can beat up Actually, the same army, <laughs> uh, the, the thing is, the same army encourages <laughs> internal, like, tests. I, I, I mean, look, uh, there's, there's boxing day. It's part of the selection process in cadet. There is. Ah. You guys fight. And it serves a given char character development purpose. Yeah. Same thing. There's a boxing day in the parachute regiment for the hopefuls that want to join the parachute regiment. Uh, no, there's no hopefuls that are. <laughs> <laughs> so there's, there's, there's a boxing day on the fourth, fifth day of, of that hell week. You know, it's six days of hell pushing Land Rovers through six un, kilometers. And una fao to ambie your story. Pushing Great. Land Rovers through six kilometers. What were probox wa kishi wana mafuta hapa? They push it up here. Kwa thicker room. I know. But, eh, but you tell us about the hell week. I was very, I've been, I'm curious about that sana. But what's training like for a lady in the military? Mm -hmm. Well, um, my own experience, first of all. Yes. I went with a bag pack and a track suit. And then I used to have dreadlocks. Oh. Then I cut them. Oh, you were humbled. No, no, no. <laughs> I wanted this. Like, I really, really, like, you know, I was like, what does it take? And I watched G.I. Joe. And I'm like, oh, you were so inspired to join the military? No, 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 no. I wasn't actually inspired. For okay. me, it was just a question of, what do these people actually do? Do they have a psychologist? Now, if I went there as a psychologist, I would clear the bush. Oh, this is nice. I mean, I okay. think for the longest time in my life, I'm a bush clearer. Okay. I am a pioneer in many things. So this was just me being true to myself. Um, so I, I show up and uh, other people show up and they have big bags and they have like weaves and long hair. And so the first thing you get in, you go through Kinyozi. And I oh, thank street. God for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you have a weave. It was my first time to see a weave. Mutu wa kinyolewa kiwa mevaa weave. See, weave, weave. It was phenomenal. I've never seen anything like that. Na ina kuwaka uchungu wata ikibegu wana upepo. Sasa hii na tolewa hivi. I don't know, I don't okay. know, but that's what happened. Um, so my own experience of it is I was ready for it. It was very difficult, you know. Like the press-ups, the... Forget the press-ups, man. First of all, you don't sleep, you know. And 
you do such ridiculous things. You have just, you know, one thing that you have to wear, it has to be clean. You know, then you meet these people, they tell you, I don't care what your level of education is, yo, my son, wake up a kit bag. You're like, what the hell is a kit bag? Oh. <laughs> then you go there, you meet somebody else, and then they tell you, uh, to kwa amra. You're like, what's an amra? Amari. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a whole new language. Someone is there, you happy ceiling, and we all look up. He means a sling. I mean, it was. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, it